immediately after the referendum, in discussions with the leaders of the parties, lock-in measure one, if you like, was taken. A resolution that is uh, issued today was submitted that will be placed in the House of Commons on Monday. And that resolution is signed by all three leaders of the major political parties, the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister, and the Leader of the Opposition, Ed Miliband. And I have signed that resolution as well, the four of us. And we have set down a timetable that is absolutely clear, that a command paper will be published by the end of October, that the heads of agreement between the parties and further devolution will come in November, and that the draft legislation, the laws that will form the Scotland Bill and eventually the Scotland Act, will be ready by the end of January. If you like, by St Andrew's Day, the heads of agreement, by Burns Day, the laws that we will then enact for the future of the country. And I want to give people in Scotland an assurance that when they were told two weeks ago that there would be delivery after decision day, that delivery has started and will continue and people should be assured that it is being monitored, scrutinised and the eyes of me but the eyes of all of us are upon it. And the powers are, in my view, extensive enough for people who want home rule within the United Kingdom for Scotland and yet at the same time recognise that there has been a will expressed in the referendum that on vital services we are still part of the United Kingdom can be satisfied. 